This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. I need to warn you, the video you're about to watch has been rated IC60 plus for interactive content in excess of 60 minutes. If you are not emotionally prepared for all the high hellos that are about to come and a full hour, a full hour of distractions, Weight Watchers or WW ideas and friendly content, hit stop now. I repeat, this is your only warning. Do not proceed further if you are not ready. But if you're like me and you like to make new friends on your weight loss journey, this is the video for you. We will be saying hi, hello, as this was filmed live. And if you ever get a chance to join us on Sunday nights, it's just over on the Facebook page, If You Have an Egg, A Weight Watcher's Journey, although I guess now we need to change it to a WW journey. Um, but we would love to see you live over there so that we can say hi and hello. And if you're new, please do give us a shout out. Let us know that you're new and where you're from so that we can all greet you. Also pay attention, um, running across the bottom right now, right now is some important information that you need for how to join us in other um, social media areas, how to get this free, how to watch this on demand, and how to make sure that you are always notified when we have a new chat come up. And more importantly, read, 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 read across the bottom. Right now, our affiliate links, which include discounts, are scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Check those out. We get some great deals for the Egg Lady and for the Egglets. I hope you enjoy the at least 60 minutes of free weight loss journey content and that you will subscribe so that you can always be notified when we're coming up and that you can you will share with another um, weight loss journey buddy, a WW member um, who needs some help and so we can help each other along this journey. So thanks again and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know, please comment below. Hope to see you Sunday. Hey, hello and happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. So, does anybody else live in a rain-drenched area like we do here in Knoxville? So yeah, we had, yeah, still have wet hair. Um, we had rain for two solid weeks. But anyway, so hopefully we're drying out. And I hope everybody who was caught in all of the storms that you all are A-OK. -okay. Hello, Rosie. But today is Sunday again, and it is February the 24th. I hope everybody had a great week. Um, yeah, and I hope you all stayed dry because we had major flooding here in Knoxville. Hello, Sherry. And if you were watching this with us live tonight, hey, hello. And in case I miss anybody, hello, Betty. Um, I'll try to make it back around to tell you all hello. And if you're watching this later, if you're watching it on um, YouTube, it's just youtube.com search if you have an egg. Hey, Carol Lou. And hey, um, yes, oh, Sherry, Alabama. Mm -hmm, y'all got it too, I think. And hello, Kim. So if... Um, if you're watching it later on YouTube or if you're watching this um, later on Facebook and you can always watch it on demand. Hello, Claudia, and hello, Angie. Hey, yes, Barbie. Yeah, and hello, Shelly. So if you don't wanna sit through all the hey hellos, if you're watching this later on demand, hello, Kim, you can just take your little scroller through thing and scroll it over to about eight or nine minutes. Hello, Lynn, and hello, Barbara from the Crossroads. I know, the rain was terrible. And hello, Palma, thank you. She likes my hat. Oh, and hey, April. April's gotta get off early because she's gotta, it's gotta be, gotta go to work early tomorrow. And hello, my Christy, and hello, Marianne. So anyway, it's been another week. Hello, Carla, and Carla, it's windy there. Goodness, 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 the weather just crazy this year. And hello, Sherry from Connecticut, and hello, Trish. Oh, and it is Oscar Sunday. Forgot all about that. And hello, Sandra from Dingman's Ferry. Hello, Kathy. Um, can they even have the Oscars without a host or a hostess? I don't even know. And obviously, I'm not interested in watching. But anyway, hello, Paula from Snowy, Maine. Bless your heart. If you're getting all this, it's going to be so snowy. And hello, Jonna from Orlando. Oh, and it's Jonna's very first time watching. It's J-A-H-N-A. -A -A -A. Everybody say hello and welcome her. Hello, Trish. Hello, Pam. Hello, Hawk Kathy. Hello, Cindy. Hello, another Kathy. Uh oh, it's the Kathy's. No, Angie, these, you just have skipped too many weeks. Angie wants to know if this, these are new glasses. You've just skipped too many weeks, girl. You know, I've got like eight pairs of glasses. And hello, Renee. And hello, Ozma. So, we've got a lot of hey, hello and going on today. Hello, Sandy from Northeastern Kansas. And hello, Sherry. So, again, if you're watching this later on demand, you can just skip through if you don't want to watch all this. Or you can say hello. And hello, Lisa. Let's see, Lisa's from Arkansas. Yeah, Lisa from Arkansas. And it's been crazy with rain there, too. Yeah, so crazy. Hello, Denise. And, yes, and everybody is welcoming Jonna. Very good, ladies. Thank you. Hello, Lacey. Okay, so... 
another crazy week. Hello, Karen. And um, still managed to get some exercise in, even though it rained so much. Hello, Margaret. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry, Betty said all those um, flooding videos were crazy. It was so weird yesterday. It was so weird. Like, we had to close up early. Hello, Janice, um, from the Granite Showroom, because we were getting reports like this road's closed now this road's closed hello janice and this road's closed hello stacy this road's closed this road so we had to we had to like get on the t dot map the um the t dot map and find a way for casey to get home because i think two of her three options you know for how she was going to get home hello take were closed they were already closed so like the roads were closed and flooded hello irma so it was crazy 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 and angie no i will not send you this hat but y'all can order these online at dax um daxspices.com so then john and i had an interesting time but anyway that's a whole different story so the waters are starting to subside and hello mary from new albany indiana and thank you sandra this is just a little um i think it's a cuddle dud yeah because it was actually chilly today but um but anyway so yeah it's been a crazy crazy week and um and hello angie from angola indiana so you've never told us where you were from so hello we can say welcome this time Mm-hmm. and barbara's exactly right thank god for the sun so we're finally starting to dry out but it's another sunday i'm gonna say hello hey hello to as many people as i can and um, i have something to read you all tonight that i hope i have permission to read she published it you know publicly and but I didn't get a chance to check in to you know just to make sure that she was okay with me reading it tonight but anyway another Sunday it is February the 24th we are here live on Facebook um, and if you want to watch it later on demand it'll be on youtube.com search if you have an egg it will also be here on Facebook later and it'll be on the blog www.ifyouhaveanegg.com and Casey at the last couple of weeks has been kind enough to do double duty Hello, Marlene, to do double duty. So she has been, oh, hello, Pauline. Oh, and Pauline is new, so everybody welcome her. Yeah, P-A-U-L-I-N-E, so everybody welcome Pauline. Um, so we, um, oh, Casey's been doing something new. So she has been doing double duty the last couple of weeks. So she has been posting the chat on YouTube after, you know, on Mondays after we get done, but also, she's putting it on there in its entirety. So, you know, so the whole hour, hour hour and six minutes hour and you know whatever because it's always more than an hour um so she's putting that whole thing on there as one video but then she's going back and she's doing just the floor just the fluff portion so just the second part um she's doing that as a separate you know as a separate video on youtube so for any of you who just want the fun portion of it i hate to say it that way but we have like a the first half is classroom and the second half is fun so for anybody who just wants the fun portion of it Casey has started putting that as a separate video. Um, so a couple of y'all have said that you like it. So if you do, please let us know. Oop, and we have a new Lynn to the chat and it's Lynn from Mississippi. And she made Lifetime this past December. Awesome, yeah, everybody welcome the new Lynn. And hello, Carol, and hello, Dolly. Awesome, yeah, that's awesome news. Great, great, great. Yeah, and Angel or April will catch up with us later. Great, yeah, hey, Loretta. So, um, yeah, so a couple of y'all have said that you like it, and don't forget, if you're watching it later on YouTube, and if you do like it, always comment, always comment, and um, don't forget, and I think it's over here, I think I pointed the right direction last time, subscribe, you know, or comment, you know, comment below, you know, or subscribe so that we will know um, that, um, you know, so, so we'll know, so yeah, so that we'll know that you like it, so anyway, okay, so this week, I need to know who attended a workshop this week. So who sat your bottom in a little chair, sat your little bottom in a chair, um, and actually attended a physical, hello Jennifer, and actually attended a physical workshop. So give me a thumbs up. So for those of you that are watching this live, you can just hit the little button down there and do a thumbs up. So give me a thumbs up if you sat your bottom in a chair this week, yeah. And if you attended here with us last week, so if you were here during, oh, hello, Sandy. So if you were here, oh, and wait, Kelly says I'm able to catch you live since I'm home with her daughter who has the flu. Oh no, I'm so sorry. And hello, Marlene from Florida. And if you are watching this later, you can just do a thumbs up in the comments. Um, or if you did, and or if you attended with us last week, hello, Melissa, you can do a heart. So if you attended here with us live last week, or if you did both, if you did both, yeah, and Barbara weighs in with no chair. <laughs> yeah, you can give a heart. 
Okay, so for everybody who attended last week, very good, very good. Lots of you did. Even with the crazy weather, lots of you all did. Oh, and Angie's got a cruise coming up in 75 days, and so she's got to get this in shape. So, yep. Oh, and hey, Kathy from South Carolina. So here you go. Here are your Bravo stickers. Uh-oh, Janice didn't get to do either one. I'm so sorry. And Sandra was sick. I'm sorry about that. Oh, yes. And Melissa, thank you for reminding me about the pen and paper. So, Bravo stickers for everybody who attended um, a workshop last week. Hello, Evie. Or who um, did both. So, thank you for reminding me about the pen and paper. You all need, tonight, go ahead and get them. And I'm so glad that you reminded me about that. So that y'all wouldn't be running around at the last minute getting this. So you need a pen, and it doesn't have to be any, anything fancy, but y'all need a pen, and you need some form of a piece of paper. So this is just a big index card. It's like a five by seven index card um, at our meeting this week, and we are actually the game that we are gonna play in the second half. Um, it's a bingo. And you, um, this is the one that we made at um, at our workshop this week. And so we just used the back of a scrap from the, um, looks like it was some form of a flyer um, that the church had, but we just made our bingo cards like this. So you can use a scrap of paper, you can use a full size sheet of paper, it doesn't matter. Or this one is on just a, an index card. And if you notice, I wrote all of my letters and numbers backwards so that you all could see them. So aren't you all impressed? Because these are actually backwards. This is frontward, so that's correct. I wrote every single one of these backwards and I am so happy that they all turned out pretty good. So go ahead and get your piece of paper, whatever your piece of paper is gonna be, and you're gonna divide it into this many squares and it doesn't have to be pretty. You're not turning this in. It's literally just, it's just for you. I started to say it's just for me. It's just for you. So it doesn't have to be pretty, but you need to end up with a B, let's see it's backwards, so I'm having trouble doing this. B-I-N-G-O across the top of your paper. And then you need to have a one underneath every letter, a two, a three, a four, and a five. Hey, Tedders. So go ahead and get your paper now, get your paper and your pen, and you can be making your lines while you're listening to me talk, you know, for the first part. And there are no fabulous prizes. The fabulous prizes are you. So, but I hope y'all still stay in play because we had a lot of fun playing this um, last Tuesday at our physical workshop. But anyway, so you want to take your piece of paper, scrap paper, envelope, back of an envelope. This is just a five by seven index card. You know, again, this was a piece of scrap paper from the church. And you can play this later if you want to. If you're gonna watch this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg. Um, you can always play along then. Um, it's, it's a whole lot of fun and it's gonna be really interesting when we get done. Hello, Janet. But you wanna end up with B-I-N-G-O and then under separate lines. No, I'm not sending you the hat, Angie, if you win. Um, we're all gonna win. Then one, you need a one, two, three, four, five under each one of them. So you want ones all the way across, twos, threes, fours, fives. Anyway, so you wanna end up with it like that. So I'll remind you all again, I'll try to remember really hard to hold this up again, right as we start the fluff portion so that anybody who came in late and if you didn't get a card made, that you um, have a chance to make your card because you're all gonna to wanna to play. Okay, so last week we talked about being kind to yourself and this was your weekly from last week. And I have done um, the video, but Casey's gonna to have to help me with it. Oh, because sadly, even though she's shown me three times how to do it, I still cannot remember how to put the music with it. So anyway, I need a little bit of help. Hello, Judy. Um, but I have done the video for how to get your weekly printed. Um, and hey, happy Joel. So that you can get your weekly printed, um, you do have to save it as a PDF. I mean, I'm sorry, not as a PDF. I've got to stop saying that. It is no longer printable as a PDF. You have to save it as pictures. So the video shows you how to save each side as a picture and then how to print them. But last week we talked about um, being kind to yourself and we spent the week doing hashtag I am a success and that I did not write backwards because this is mine. This is for me, you know, here at home. But your homework, does anybody remember what your homework is? And a whole bunch of y'all did your homework. So I'm super, super proud of you all for doing your homework. Um, but your homework for last week was to come up with three reasons. Because remember, we were talking about being kind to yourself, you know, and saying kind things because it's easier to be kind, especially to strangers, um, than, it is, than it is ourselves. So you all did a great job with your, um, with your homework. Hello, Mary from Nova Scotia. And yes, three ways that you are successful. So three ways that you are hashtag I am a success. 
a lot of you all answered. Um, I still want to see them here. Still send me some more of them. Um, heard some really, really good ones. I mean, some really good ones. And I wish I could think what, you know, all of them were right now. Um, but y'all did a great job on yours. And so remember, I did nine. So I had nine reasons um, that I'm a success. And Janet, it is not hard. Anything you attended here. So you're a success because you came, you came and attended with other like-minded people. And hello, um, Sherilyn. Let's see, Sherilyn's starting back for the 1,000th time tomorrow. Yeah. So are we supposed to call, we're supposed to go by Sherilyn because you've got a long username there, and I'm not really sure which which of those names that we're supposed to be using for you. But yes, three reasons to be successful, Marianne, um, that you are successful. Um, and Sherry, um, you don't know how to turn your you never know how to turn your homework in. If you literally just reply here on the chat when we're done, or you can, you know, reply while we're doing this, then I'll get it. I get a notification, you know, when you all, um, when you all post here, you don't have to be able to, you know, to tag me. Okay. So Sherry post it here. Hey, Orlando, Debbie. Um, so just post it here, you know, and we'll, and I'll get it and I'll see it and you will get your Bravo sticker. Okay. So share Lynn. Okay. And I will try really hard to remember that for next week. Um, oh, Chris, no, you did not. No, you did not. Okay, you showed up. You're here. You know, you attended. So there's step one. You know, you attended the you attended our workshop. So that's step one. Um, but anyway, so three reasons that you are hashtag I'm a success. Um, I had nine. If you didn't see that, you can watch the second half of the video um, separately, the second half of our chat from last week separately. And I think it's only like 26 minutes long. So you can see the nine things um, during the second half. And um, yeah, so a lot of y'all came up with three. So for those of y'all who did your homework, and if you did it and you forgot to, to forgot to tag me or you forgot to post it, go ahead. So Rosie, yep, there you go. So anybody that who, who did their homework, go ahead and you can go ahead and post it now and y'all still get Bravo stickers. So Bravo to everyone. And hello, Cheryl from North Dakota. She's a first timer. So how cold is it right now in North Dakota, Cheryl? My husband's been out there twice and both times it was whoo, too cold. So everybody welcome Cheryl, C-H-E-R-Y-L. Yep, it's her first time from North Dakota. So hello, welcome. Okay, so that was last week. So last week we were talking about being kind to ourselves. This week, we are talking about moving more each day. And have y'all noticed how much we talk about moving? So they've been wearing it out this year. So I have a feeling they need us to get up off of our rear ends and be doing some things. But I will say this, I have seen over and over and over and over and over and over and over again in all different kinds of medium, in all different mediums, either the news or, oh, and that Lynn's first time too. This is a first timer too. So everybody welcome um, Lynn. Yeah, awesome. So, um, and Denise gets her homework. Barbara gets her, Bravo for her homework. Um, but they have been kind of wearing it out. But I keep seeing um, in a lot of different places that sitting is the new um, smoking. So apparently our sedentary lifestyles are becoming more of an issue than for people that are smoking. And I'm not saying that as long as you get up and walk around that you can start smoking. Not saying that at all, at all. Um, but they are highly encouraging us to move. So this is not just for weight loss. This is not just for weight management. Um, it's not just about, um, you know, what we normally think of as exercise. It's just about getting up and moving around. And that's part of what the um, A-Active is that's on your app. And there are a whole bunch of apps now that you can put on your phone, you can put on your Apple Watch, um, different things that can alert you and remind you to get up, you know, every single hour and move in some way. And that doesn't mean, oh, I'm sorry. Cheryl just said the wind chill was negative 30 this morning. Woo! Cheryl, I was complaining because um, uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, the temperature was like 38, like above, like not wind chill, like not negative. Anyway, oh, I don't even want to think about that. So anyway, but um, a lot about just getting up and moving, you know, that you don't have to get up, you know, and jog. And I just wanted to read you all this because this nailed it. So one of our friends on um, Connect and her username on Connect is J-A-H-B-E-R. And I don't, I'm sorry, I apologize. Excuse me, I do not know her first name, but um, but her her username on Connect, if you want to connect with her, is J-A-H-B-E-R. So in order to find her, you would just go on to WW Connect and you would type in the at symbol. Um, so the at symbol and J-A-H-B-E-R. But listen to what she wrote. And I thought this was 
perfect, perfect. And I asked for her permission permission to be able to read this tonight, and I hadn't heard back from her yet, but um, fingers crossed. Oh, it's you? Jana, Jana, is that you? The J-A-H-B-E-R, is that you? Hold on, because if that's you, I just need permission to read this, because this is like perfect. You nailed it today. I mean, absolutely nailed it. So hopefully that is you. That's so exciting. That is so exciting. Okay, so I just wanted to read this for everybody. Okay, this was in response to, um, and there were already like a hundred. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so it is It is Jonna. And am I saying that correctly, Jonna? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so this was in response to a very long conversation um, that had started about exercise and had, by the time I read this, there were like 118 responses or comments. I don't know how many responses and comments there are now. Um, yeah, I said, I said her name right too. Um, but anyway, so she, so Jono was giving this response, you know, in answer to the, um, I don't even remember what the original question was, but it was something about getting exercise and, oh, oh, no, I know what it was. Has anyone had significant weight loss without exercising on WW? And so this was how, this was one of Jono's answers because she was pretty active in this conversation today. So let's just listen to this. Just to clarify, walking is exercise, vacuuming with purpose, being mindful of it as healthy movement, walking the dog, chasing your toddler, any purposeful, mindful movement can be exercise. Exercise isn't a bad word, and it doesn't have to be unpleasant or hard or even make you really sweaty. True. Um, when we retrain our brains to understand what exercise truly is, we can find pleasure in movement. Exercise is vital, and she put that in all capitals, you know. Exercise is vital for long-term wellness, it just is. So do the necessary reframing so that you can exercise with pleasure and maximize your health. It's worth it and no pain, no sweat, and no guts necessary. Very good. I thought that was very good, Jonna. So that was spot on and that was especially spot on for our topic for this week. Again, our topic this week is move more each day. So I would highly recommend that y'all go on. Obviously, this girl's got some words. She's got some amazing words. So go on over to Connect and just look up at J-A-H-B-E-R. Give her some love. Yeah, y'all give her some love here. Thank you, Dolly. Yeah, so thank you very much. Yeah, so Jonna deserves that. That was, I mean, she was spot on. She nailed it today, <laughs> nailed it. She should be up here teaching this today. Um, but our topic this week is to move more, so move more each day. And WW, even though they didn't say it as eloquently as Jonna did, um, they say in our weekly, and I'm sorry, I've got a little glare going on here, um, on days when carving out a block of time for activity is hard, you might wind up pushing it off until tomorrow. Hmm, does that sound familiar, anyone? Me, me, me. Yeah. Instead, look for ways to fit in movement, mo movement, movement moments that naturally work into your day. The opportunities are everywhere. Choosing to take the stairs, walk during a work call, or grab a basket rather than a cart at the supermarket can help can help your commitment to moving moving more top of mind. Even better, that physical activity all adds up to enhance your health. So it all adds up. So the walking the dog, the grabbing a basket instead of the buggy, that all adds up. Um, and get this cool mind body link. Research shows when you acknowledge that your activity is good for you, it can deliver even more benefits. So it's like bonus, 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 bonus. Yeah. And Jonna says, thank you. Reframing exercise has changed everything about my wellness journey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what to do? Plan your moves. Identify one day this week where you'll be very busy so that it will be difficult to get in a longer session of physical activity. Huh. Let me think just a minute. What day would that be? Hmm, I'm going to say that'll be every day. <laughs> every day. Um, my father in particular is especially needy right now um, health-wise, so I'm thinking that's going to be every day. And then think about your everyday actions, brushing your teeth, commuting, working at your desk, cooking dinner. How could you add physical activity to them? We talk about that all the time, all the time. Choose two points in the day where you can sneak in activity. Write down what you'll do in the space below with as much detail as possible. Example, taking um, stairs to your office instead of the elevator when you arrive for that all for that all day meeting on Monday morning. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't want to have that all day meeting. Okay, so you know... I'm gonna have homework for you, but let's just talk about this again. So we have talked many times about fitting in some extra activity or part of my, one of my nine, um, or nine, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, one of my nine uh, hashtag I am a success items for last week was two-a-days. 
So when we were talking about the two a days last week, um, I was telling you all that, you know, back in the day, you know, 10 years ago, whatever, um, I had time that I could do, you know, 45 minutes to an hour of exercise, you know, either in the morning or at night. Um, but you know, but I could sneak it in. Well, right now I've been getting up at three 30 in the morning to try and go to work. I still have a couple of people that have been out, um, like extended, you know, amounts of time and we're getting ready to move. So when we, you know, and when we move, you know, um, secret little update, we will have a test kitchen. So we will have a real test kitchen. Y'all will still get to come here on Sunday nights just because I don't want to drive on Sunday nights, but we will have a test kitchen. So everybody needs to stay tuned, you know, from when that starts. But anyway, um, so we have a couple of people that due to extenuating circumstances, you know, have missed quite a few days um, already this year and there aren't that many of us there in the shop. So I've been trying to get up at 3.30 in the morning to go, um, you know, be them. So I have to be them and I have to be me. And Tedders will talk about the two days here in just a second. But so I've been trying to be me and them and I calculated it, I think it was on Friday. And if I was to make up all of their hours myself, I was, I was gonna have to get up at 3.30 like the next 18 days in a row. So that's not gonna happen. But that also means that I'm not, um, yes, but we are moving the shop. So, but that's, let me get that nailed down before we actually send us, you know, any details about it. But anyway, just stay tuned. Um, but the two a days are because I don't have time. I was getting up, you know, at like 4 35 o'clock in the morning and we were walking for, you know, 40, 45 minutes and then I would get ready and go to work. But right now I can't get up at, you know, three and get all of that in. So instead I've been doing two a days and that also seem has seemed to, you know, change up my exercise a little bit so that my body isn't so complacent because I honestly think that I had gotten to a point where since I, and I was walking the same route every day, you know, so I was doing the same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, and it almost had gotten too easy. So even though there was a hill involved and some steps when we were coming back, um, I really think that my body was getting used to it and it was getting too easy. So I've switched it up from a matter of um, being able to fit it in, being able to actually make it happen, you know, and not feel bad about not walking an hour in the morning. Um, and it's funny because if I get the little thing in in the morning, I have found that I am much more likely to get another little thing or sometimes a bigger thing in at, you know, in the evening. So I started doing two a days. Um, so that, you know, that part of the, you know, move more each day instead of just, you know, not being able to get in my whole 45 minutes to an hour in the morning and then just going, well, forget it. You know, I didn't get that done, so I'm not gonna do anything else today. So instead I've been breaking it up into the two smaller ones. And even if you just do 10 or 15 minutes, that's still better, you know, if you did 10 or 15 minutes twice a day, you know, once in the morning and once it, and once in the evening or in the afternoon, that's 30 minutes, you've gotten in 30 minutes. Okay, but the move more each day, we're talking about little things. So we're talking about little bitty things. We're not talking about sweating, so, you know, like, whew, you know, Karen and I um, did get in our walk this afternoon. So we're not talking about sweating. We're not talking about having to carve out a lot of time. We're just talking about little things that you can do, you know, throughout the day to make sure that you get some kind of activity in. So. I snuck in three this week, or stuck in three yesterday. So, and that's what I'm gonna want y'all to do for your homework. I want you to sneak in three things, three little ways, you know, that you can get some movement in. So yesterday, when Dusty needed to go for his potty walk, instead of going, you know, and we live in a loft, we live downtown, so we're not just walking out into the yard, you know, we actually have to walk somewhere to go potty. Um, instead of just taking him from the loft, straight down to one of the potty spots and coming straight back, instead, I took him the long way around. So we went all the way down and around, probably, you know, down another block, whatever, and came up, went to the potty spot, and then came back home. That took an extra five minutes. So that added five minutes to what we normally do, um, you know, for our evening potty walk, or for our, sorry, for our morning potty walk. Then um, we had Alyssa last night, and she was listening to her, um, John had on her, um, she has her own YouTube playlist. Anyway, so he had on her YouTube playlist and one of the songs that, um, one of the songs that was on, she loves and I do love it too. Um, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. And so instead of just letting her listen to it or just letting her sit there and listen to it, um, I put her up on my shoulders. And so while I, while we were listening to her music and I had her on my shoulders, so I had 20, what is, what did, how much is she, Casey, if you're there, 22 pounds or something, 23 pounds. So I had an extra 23 pound pack, you know, on my shoulders and we danced, you know, so we danced through the whole song and I'm telling you, I can feel it today. So that song 
is only five minutes long. So that was another five minutes, but it was five minutes, you know, five minutes of activity that was fun. You know, she had a good time, you know, and we, and we squeezed it in. Then the other thing that I did yesterday is every time that I had to take a piece of paper out um, to, to anything in the showroom, instead of going straight out, you know, straight to the copier and then straight back, straight to the copier and straight back. Instead, yesterday I went to the copier, then I walked all the way around a display that we have and back into the office. Copier, all the way around the display that we have and come back in. And I did it all day long yesterday. So that was another at least five minutes that I squeezed in. So not doing anything special, didn't get sweaty. Um, yeah, Alyssa kind of you know, warmed me out a little bit. I can feel, you know, I could feel it this morning, feel it in my legs this morning. Um, but that was 15 extra minutes yesterday extra. So that doesn't include, you know, getting up and doing my exercises in the morning. That doesn't include walking at all last night. It doesn't include any other. That's, that's no other activity. It's no other special activity. And that was just in three things. And I got 15 extra minutes of activity yesterday. So anyway, that is your homework for this week. I want you to find three things, anything. So like while we're doing the chat, maybe while we're having the chat, y'all are doing, you're doing squats. You know, if you did squats, during the chat, or if we had another one of our challenges where y'all have to do things, you know, for the different things that I do. Mm -hmm -hmm. Or maybe while you're brushing teeth, or you're brushing your teeth, and y'all know y'all can't see me doing this, but stand on, stand on one foot, and then stand on the other foot. Yeah, and Renee says, do 25 squats four times a day. Do a one minute plank three times a day, and then cardio after five. That would add up to a lot. That would add up to a whole lot. Or like here on my island, I don't want to knock the phone over, but I could actually do like a counter, you know, like a counter um, plank. And I know that's not, you know, down on the floor, but trust me, if I did this the whole time that we were chatting, I would be able to feel it in my core. So anyway, sneak three things in. Um, don't forget to tag me on them. So if you do it here on the page, just tag if you have an egg and I will see it, or you can comment here in the, you know, in the chat, even when the chat is over, you can still go back and comment. Or if you watch this on YouTube, you can still comment and I will see it. Um, if you post it, if you post your homework on, oh, hello Donna. If you post your homework on the, um, over in the closed group, you're going to, you're going to do at Kelly Green Milligan. And by the time you type in Kelly G, my name's going to pick up or, or pop up. If you are tagging me on Instagram, it's just at if you have an egg, or if you are posting your homework on Connect, it is at Scrap and Stamp 2. So anyway, so y'all know what your homework is. You gotta do three things, three. How easy is that, you know? And chasing toddlers counts. That does count for those of you who have toddlers. You know, um, taking the kids for a walk, you know, maybe pushing the stroller an extra, you know, time, um, making an extra lap around Target. Hi, Heather. So like if you're at Target or, or Kroger, you know, at the grocery store, you know, like when you get done, after you've gone up, you know, your normal grocery shopping, Costco, you know, somewhere like that, when you get done, why don't you just take one more lap around the whole way of the store, the whole way. That'd be five minutes. You would already get five minutes so that you could count that as one of your three. So anyway, find three things, tag me in them, do your homework, do good things. Um, and yeah, you'll find suddenly you'll have 15 extra minutes of activity in your day and you won't have even broken a sweat. Okay. That's it for the classroom portion of this. So everybody knows what they're doing, right? And just about time to start the fluff portion. So for anybody who just got here, for anyone who just got here, you need to get a scrap piece of paper. We're gonna start here in just a second. You need to get a scrap piece of paper. This is just a five by seven index card. Um, this was, you know, this was our one from um, Tuesday night and it was just on a piece of scrap paper from the church, but you're gonna make Columns, you're gonna make five columns, B, I, N, G, O, and you're gonna number them. You're gonna make six rows because you've gotta have a row for the letters, and then one, two, three, four, five. And yes, I wrote these backwards so that y'all could see them. So everybody get your paper ready. Class is dismissed, and we'll start the fluff portion in just a moment while everybody gets their paper ready. So y'all give me a thumbs up when you have your paper ready so I know you're done. Excuse me while I get my drink of water. And Jennifer, if you don't have an activity monitor, there are apps. There are apps that you can use that will remind you to get up and walk around. And to remind you to drink water and everything else. Okay, a couple of y'all have your paper ready. Mm-hmm. Okay, several of y'all have your, oh, good. 
good. Quite a few of you do. Okay. Let me catch my breath. Whew, because I was talking fast tonight. Oh, lots of y'all have your paper ready. Okay, awesome. Okay. So, hold on. Let me, so Casey will know where to start this. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so now this is the fluff portion of our chat. And during chat number, and I forgot to tell y'all what number it was, but I think it's 112. So we just finished our WW Wellness Workshop number 112, and it was titled Move More Each Day. So if you're just watching the second half of this, you'll have to go back and watch the first of it to hear everything that we talked about. But during the second half, we're going to talk just about normal things, but we're going to play a game. So we're going to play a game just to see how normal everybody is. And I didn't come up with a hashtag for this, but maybe the, maybe the hashtag just is hashtag I am normal. We'll try that one on for size. So everybody hopefully made your bingo card. And again, the bingo card, if you're playing this later, so if you're, if you're watching this on YouTube later, it's youtube.com. Um, search if you have an egg or if you're watching, um, if you're watching this later on our blog, www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. You need to get any kind of piece of scrap paper, an index card, whatever you want. You're going to make five columns. So this is a column. You're going to make five columns. You're going to make six rows because you have to have a row for the bingo and then a row for ones, twos, threes, fours, and fives. Okay, everybody knows how to play bingo, right? Hopefully. Okay, and the prize is, the prizes are just that y'all are going to find out how normal we all are. Okay, so y'all know, so like if I say B1, so if I pull something out of here and I say, you know, like I3, and then what I, when I read on the back, if you can answer yes, yes, that's me, to whatever number I, you know, pull, then you're going to mark, mark through that, put a check, put a dot, black it out, I don't care what you do to it, put a penny on it, whatever, but you're going to mark that one off. So if you can answer yes to that one, then you're going to mark that square off. And then if you get five across, and it doesn't matter which row it is, or five down, and it doesn't matter which column it is, or diagonally, then you're going to shout bingo, okay? Okay, so everybody knows how to play bingo, right? And if you don't, you can't come stay with me. Because I love bingo. Okay, so remember, I'm going to tell you a letter and a number. You're going to find that letter and your number on your card. And if you can identify with this, then you get to mark it off. Okie dokie. Okay, and let me actually find the first one. I forgot I needed to keep out the first one because everybody gets a free square. So hold on just a second. Let me find it. That was smart, Kelly. Let's see. And it is N3. And I'm not cheating. I'm not reading these. I'm just looking for the N3. So we all are still making your cards. Let me find it real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's see. N3. Okay, so. The very first one is N3, and N3 is, have you ever watched a live chat? Okay, so you're all, you all are all here, so everybody gets to mark off N3. N3 is, have you ever watched a live chat? So everybody mark that one off, because you are all here. You are all here, so you have all watched a live chat. Okay, then the next one is, I won. So I won, and I'm only going to do this a couple of times just to make sure everybody's with me. I won is right there. So I won. Oh, have you ever used all of your points by lunchtime? Anybody? Me. So I could mark that one off. Actually, I'll just play with you all. So I've got in three. Let me play with you. So I have... N3, and I have, what was that one, I1. So I1 was, have you ever used all your points by lunchtime? I1, okay. So I can mark off that one. Okay, the next one, I5. Have you used the recipe builder? So if you've ever used the recipe builder on WW, you can mark off I5. I have, so I'm gonna mark that one off. Okay, are y'all busy playing? Cause you're not really saying anything. N1, have you ever saved points for a special event? I have, 
N1. Have you ever saved points for a special event? Okay, I have, so I'm gonna mark that one off. Okay. The next one is O5. Oh, yeah, there y'all are. Oh, oh, concentrating, yeah. O5. Have you ever have you ever eaten something before you knew what the points were? Hmm. So have you ever put anything in your mouth before you checked out the points? That is O5. Okay. Are y'all marking a lot of these off? So we still got a lot to go. Okay, B4, B4, did you make a grocery list this week? So who made a grocery list this week? If you, if you made a list, you get to mark off B4. I did not make a list this week because John was out of town, so I don't get to mark that one off. Okay, hopefully y'all are doing well. Okay, I4. I, yeah, and Debbie says, and was shocked, yeah. I4, um, do you have more than three colors of fruits and veggies in your fridge right now? So, if you do, if you have more than three colors of fruits and veggies in your fridge right now, I4, you can mark off I4, so I can mark off that one. One of them's not actually in my fridge, but we're gonna count that, okay. Then the next one is, let go. The next one is G3, G3. Oh, have you ever called a friend instead of putting something in your mouth? That one's a good one. So instead of putting something in your mouth, so you, you were walking around the kitchen or work or whatever and saying, I'm gonna eat something, I'm gonna eat something, I'm gonna eat something, I'm gonna eat something. Have you ever called a friend instead of putting something in your mouth? That's G3. G3, and I can mark that one off, okay? Is everybody up with me? Does anybody need anything repeated before I go on? Hmm? Oh, text, okay, as Ma texted somebody, that counts. Yep, and my Christie's got apples, blueberries, and cauliflower. Yep, that's definitely three different colors. Very good. Everybody's good? Okay, the next one is G2. G2, have you ever, this one's a cheater one, have you ever made a Wego? So who's made a Wego? If you've ever made a Wego, G2, you can mark off G2. I get to mark off G2. Okay. Good, okay, yep, everybody's doing good. Kim, Tag, Judy says it's going well. Okay, this one is, oh, one. Oh, one. Yeah, Betty and Janice. Me, me. Oh, one is, have you ever commented during a live chat? Oh, one. So if you haven't, now is your chance. Now is your chance. Oh, and Tannis, we're going to have to get you filled in on the Wegos. Okay, so oh, one. If you want to be able to mark off oh, one, then you need to, and you have, if you've never commented, now is your chance. If you comment now, you get to mark that one off. So, O1. Okay, and sadly, I don't get to mark that one off because I can't comment. I can't comment because I'm talking. I'm talking, so I can't comment on that. So, darn, I don't get to mark that one off. And no, Barbara, you do not talk too much. You do not talk too much. Okay, so if you, yeah, and Debbie says lots. Yeah, so if you, oh, and thank you. Thank you, my Christy, for um, commenting about the Wego. So, if you've been looking for an opportunity to do uh, to get O one, so if you need to mark off O one, then you better comment. You better comment. Okay. So the next one, and thank you, Betty says this is fun, and Lacey says it is. Yes, thank you. Okay, B five. So the next one is B five. Um, this week, did you track anything before you ate it? So, during the week this week, did you track anything before you put it in your mouth? So, we talked a few minutes ago about looking something up before you, you know, before you ate it. But did you track anything before you ate it this week? That's B5, and I did, so I'm going to mark that one off. Okay. Oh, we got some bingos. 
Williams, Rosie's got bingo, Mary's got bingo, Carol Lou's got bingo, Lisa's got bingo, Janice is bingo. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, well, we're gonna keep going. Roberta has bingo. Okay, but let's keep going because I wanna see how many you all get. Okay, Jessica has bingo, Loretta has bingo. Awesome, you guys are awesome. You are awesome, Donna has bingo. Okay, but let's keep going because I wanna see, I wanna see how many y'all get, okay? Kim has bingo. Okay, oh, three. Tedders has bingo, Claudia has bingo. Oh, I don't have a bingo yet. How did y'all get that far ahead of me? Hmm? How did y'all get that far ahead of me? Okay, Lynn has bingo. Palma has bingo. Okay, oh, I know, Kathy, look at all those bingos. Okay, oh, three. Donna has bingo. Oh, let's keep going though. Sherry has bingo. Oh, three. Have you ever eaten an apple when you wanted a cookie? Hmm. Is there anybody? Is there anybody out there? Is there anybody out there who's eaten an apple or a banana? Eaten an apple or a banana when you wanted a cookie? Anybody? That's O3. O3. Okay. Not gonna lie, I can't mark that one off. Would love to say that I had, but okay. The next one is I2. Okay, I I too. Do you have a Weight Watcher? I'm gonna call it approved, but you know, do you have a Weight Watcher, a WWWW approved? Do you have a healthy low point snack in your purse right now? Right now, do you have one in your purse? And you know what I'm gonna say? Hashtag purse check. So that is I too. I get to mark that one off. I too, because I have a healthy snack. Yeah, and Kathy's saying, if only I had made a Wego. Oh, no. Yeah, you're going to have to find out how to make a Wego. Okay. The next one is B3. B3. Did you try a new recipe this week? So, hello, Stacy. So, okay, Debbie, a bag. I carry a backpack. I don't carry, I don't carry a purse. I have it in my backpack. So, yeah. Hello, Stacy. So, if you just have it in your bag, bag, backpack, whatever, car, because I know, Debbie, you're at home. You're working from home a lot, so, yeah. And, Stacy, you're going to have to catch back up because we're playing a game. Okay, B3. B3 is, have you? did you try a new recipe this week? So, at any point during this week, did you try a new recipe? I am created a new recipe. Does that count? So, B3. I think I'm going to mark that one off. Okay, B3. Have you tried a new recipe this week? Okay. The next one is, and we're going to keep playing until I go through all of these, okay? The next one is N5. N5. Hey, oh, this one was a good one. This one was a good one. Have you ever had a weight gain that you didn't deserve? So, you know you did everything right that week. You know you had all your water. You did, you know, you counted. You tracked everything. And you still, oh, Charlotte has a bingo. So, N5 is, have you ever had a weight gain that you didn't deserve? Hmm? That's N5. So I'm definitely marking that one off. And I see a couple more bingos coming up. A couple more people had bingo. Oh, Sharla has bingo. Lynn has bingo again. Okay. Yeah, and we're going to keep going. Okay. G4. G4. Have you ever skipped your workshop? Have you ever skipped going to your workshop because you thought you had a gain? Hmm? Did, has anybody ever skipped going or skipped... Skipped weighing your own Sue has bingo. Skipped weighing yourself. Skipped talking to someone, you know, about it because you thought you had a weight gain. So, yeah, that's G4. Have you ever skipped your workshop because you thought you had a gain? Okay, that's G4. I have, so I'm going to check that one off. G4. <laughs> Somehow, I still don't have a bingo. Don't ask me how. Okay. Then, how about O2? O2, do you have an accountability buddy? Oops, Sandra's got bingo. So, um, O, I'm sorry, O, O, O2, do you have an accountability buddy? So, hopefully, you have O2. Okay, so I have an accountability buddy. So, I'm going to mark that one off. Okay, and then we have N2, N2. <sighs> And this one's funny. I'm sorry, I just had to throw in a funny one. N2, have you ever worn buffet pants? And do y'all know what I mean? Buffet pants? Okay, and for those of you all that are saying no about having an accountability buddy, 
I need y'all to hook up. Hook up. Hook up with people. Yes, and this group. This whole group is your accountability buddy. So, yeah. Buffet pants. So, N2 is... Have you ever worn buffet pants? And Lynn has another bingo, or Lynn has another bingo, yeah. Buffet pants are the pants that go like this. You know, you don't have to be at a buffet, and as Ma has bingo, you don't have to be at a buffet to wear them, but have you ever been to something? Have you ever been to Christmas lunch? Have you ever been to a buffet and worn them? Have you ever been, <laughs> Tay has bingo, have you ever been somewhere, yeah, where you knew there was gonna be a lot of food and you wore buffet pants? Okay, that's N2. I have, so I'm gonna mark that one. Okay. The next one is B2. B oh, we were doing great on time. B2. Have you eaten at least one zero point food today? So, um, doesn't matter what else you ate today. Have you eaten at least one zero point food today? And that is B2. Rosie's got a double bingo. B2. Have you eaten at least one zero point food today? That is B2. And I can mark that off. <gasps> finally have bingo. Hello, Sylvia. Sylvia's late from Canada, but it's okay. You can play later. And Mary has bingo. Janice has bingo. Everybody should be getting close anyway. Okay. Here's the next one. O4. O4 is, have you tried all 200 zero point foods? And Betty has bingo. Trish has bingo. Have you tried all 200 zero point foods? So, my Christy has bingo. Anybody for O4? Lacey, no bingo yet? Oh my goodness, Claudia has bingo. So O4 is, have you tried, has anybody tried all 200 zero point foods? That is O4. That is not me, so I can't mark that one off. O4, O4. Yep, and Debbie's got bingo, finally. Okay, the next one is N4. N4, have you ever celebrated an NSV? And if you don't know what an NSV is, then um, that is a non-scale victory. So a non-scale victory might be moving down a notch on your um, Fitbit or your Apple Watch. Um, it might be moving into smaller size clothes. It might be people noticing. Um, no oh, Lynn, you mean you've never, oh, the 200 points or the or the NSV. I'm hoping you're mean the 200 point, the 200 foods. Mary, Evie, Palma, all have bingos. Awesome. Lacey finally has bingo. Yeah, finally has a bingo. Carol has bingo again. But yeah, N4 is if you've ever celebrated an NSV, so a non-scale victory, you know, like being able to um, do the seatbelt on the plane. Shelly has bingo. Barbara has bingo. Diane has bingo. Let's see, that was N4, so I can mark that one off. So I have bingo again. Yeah, Paula finally has bingo, Judy has bingo, Sandy has bingo. Okay, let's keep going. We've only got a few more. B1, and I guess I didn't say it. Cheryl has bingo, Bloody has bingo again. B1, have you ever tracked more than 100 points in a single day? Marlene has bingo. B1, have you ever tracked more than 100 points in a single day? Have you ever had a triple digit day? That is B1. That's a yes for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that one off. If you've ever tracked, oh, Pauline has, Pauline has it. And Melissa and NSV moved to heavier weights, yeah. If you've ever tracked more than, and Kathy has a bingo. If you've ever tracked more than 100 points in one day, that is B1. And Rosie says she's not ever gone over 100. Rosie, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm gonna say, and Trish says, um, Trish has bingo. I'm gonna say, yeah, Janice is exact. yeah, what Janice just said, Claudia has bingo again. So, I think all of us have had more than 100 point day, we just haven't tracked it. So, yeah, it's easy to do. Okay, G5, oh, Judy has bingo again, Evie has bingo. G5, Melissa has bingo. G5, have you hashtag bulked it up once this week? So yeah, so has there been at least, Donna has bingo, at least one time this week that you've hashtag bulked it up. That is G5, Marianne has bingo, and I have, so I get G5, I have another bingo. Lacey has bingo again. Yep, and we've only got a couple left. Okay, and the couple that are left, one of them is I3. Evie has bingo. Um, I3, have you ever eaten something that didn't taste good, even if it had points? So that would be like, you know, something that was gonna have some points and you, oh, Tay has bingo again, Mary has bingo, Betty has bingo again, Sandy has bingo. 
So for I3, have you ever eaten something, something that had points, but have you, doesn't even really matter, have you ever eaten something that didn't taste good, but you went ahead and ate it anyway? Yeah, that used to be me in French fries. Um, Sue has bingo. So I3, I'm gonna mark that one off for another bingo because I definitely have. Shelly has bingo again, Judy has bingo again. Okay, and this is the last one, G1. Okay, wait, before I read this one, Janice has bingo times three. Is there anyone who has not bingoed yet? Is there anybody, any non-bingoers yet? I'll give you all just a second to answer that because we are doing spectacularly on time. Mm -mm. Yeah, Jackie, you are gonna have to watch because you're gonna have to play. Okay, is there anybody who has not bingoed? Oh, Sherry, you haven't bingoed? Okay, maybe you will after this one. Stacy's in on bingo. Okay, well, this is your last chance. This is your last chance, and we'll go back through them all real quick again. G1 is the last one, and I'll go back through them real quick. G1, have you, okay, we had the opposite of this just a minute ago. I don't remember which number it was, but G1, have you ever had a weight loss you didn't deserve? So, have you ever gone to weigh in or weighed yourself at home or been on a diet bed or whatever and weighed in and had a weight loss that you knew that you didn't deserve? So, you hadn't tracked that week. You had just thrown caution to the wind. You know, maybe attended a wedding or a birthday or whatever. Oh, Palma bingo G1. That's G1. Have you ever had a weight loss you didn't deserve? That is me. So, I'm going to mark off G1. Okay. So, we're going to quickly go back through these. We're gonna quickly, quickly, quickly go back through these to make sure that everybody got them marked. Okay, so everybody, let's make sure I have them all. I'm gonna go through them real quick, real quick. So, to make sure that everybody has these. Okay, B1 was tracked more than 100 points in a single day. I3 ate something that didn't taste good, even if it had points. G5, you hashtag bulk it up once this week. N4, you sell, you've celebrated an NSV ever. O4, have tried all 200 zero-point foods. B2, eaten at least one zero-point food today. N2, ever worn buffet pants. Remember the buffet pants. O2, you have an accountability buddy. G4, and if you're here with us, you have an accountability buddy. Okay, I'm just saying. G4, skipped your workshop because you thought you had a gain. N5, had a weight gain you didn't deserve. B3, tried a new recipe this week. I2, have a WW snack in your purse. Hashtag purse check. O3, eaten an apple when you wanted a cookie. B5, tracked before you ate, O1, ever commented during a live chat, remember now's your chance, G2, made a wego, and if you haven't, you must make one, G3, called a friend instead of putting something in your mouth, I4, have more than three colors of fruits and veggies in your fridge, O5, have you ever eaten something before you knew what the points were, G1, had a weight loss you didn't deserve. N1, saved points for a special event. I5, use the recipe builder. I1, used all your points by lunchtime. Judy, we've got to hook you up with a Wego. N3, watched a live chat, which you're doing right now. So everybody should be able to mark that one off. And B4 made a grocery list this week. Okay, so is there still anybody who didn't bingo? And it's okay if y'all didn't bingo. So, yay. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, you're welcome on the recap. Okay, so look at mine. So I didn't get every single one of them. I'm missing, what is that, four of them? So I didn't get every single one of them. But I want you all to listen. And I want you all to listen um, to what we, you know, to what, to what we were talking about. So how, how many of you are normal? It's okay, Stacy. You didn't, ha you didn't have to bingo. You're still a winner. So we're all winners because 
we are all normal. I mean, how normal is this? So, I mean, how many of us, you know, um, I mean, made a grocery list this week. You're, you are already so far ahead. You're so far ahead of everyone else if you've already made a grocery list this week. Um, if you've ever watched a live chat, yeah, you're awesome. You, you're awesome if you've ever watched a live chat because you're here with us. You are so normal. You are so hashtag I am normal. Maybe, yeah, I think we'll just make it hashtag I am normal. You know, use all your points by lunchtime. Hello. I mean, yeah, of course that's happened. Use the recipe builder. That one, if you've not done that one, you need to get on it. You are gonna love it. You're gonna love it if you ever use it. Save points for a special event. If you haven't done that yet, I hope that you I hope that you will try that sometime. It is so much more rewarding. So if you go to a special event, if you go to a special event and have a piece of cake and you um and you planned for it, it tastes so much better than if you go to a special event eat a piece of cake and you didn't plan for it. It's the same number of points as the same piece of cake, but I'm telling you it tastes better if you've already, Donna says I'm normal for once and not in my life. Yay, welcome to being normal. Um, had a weight loss you didn't deserve. Yeah, it's happened. And then we celebrate that one hard and heavy, don't we? Um, have you ever eaten something before you know the points? Of course we have, of course we have. You know what? And you just calculate, you just figure out the points and you move on with your life. Ever had, you have more than three colors of fruits and veggies in your fridge? I highly recommend it, highly recommend it. And I love that y'all are putting hashtag I am normal. Call a friend instead of putting something in your mouth. Smart, smart, smart idea. Or get on here, get on here in the group, you know, or get in our closed group. And if you don't know how to get in the closed group, some, I'm sure somebody will post the, um, the link to it or I will when we get done. Um, if you've never made a Wego, ladies, 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 I don't think we have any gentlemen tonight. You've got to make a Wego. It's like the world's easiest thing to make. Um, if you've ever commented during a live chat, then I think you are very special. You are very special to me if you have commented during a live chat, and I thank you for that. Um, tracked before you ate. Good job. That is such a healthy habit to make. Such a healthy habit to make. Eating an apple when you wanted a cookie. My hat is off to you people who have eaten a, eaten an apple before you when you wanted to eat a cookie. Have a WW snack in your purse, hashtag purse check. Y'all pass my purse check if you did that. Tried a new recipe this week. Uh, you know, do it, find one. There's been lots of good ones going around in the group. How to weight gain you didn't deserve. Okay, so if you didn't deserve it, move on. Cause you know what, somewhere down here, you're gonna have a weight loss you didn't deserve too. You are okay, you are hashtag I am normal. Skipped your workshop because you thought you had a gain. What if you didn't? What if you had that surprise weight loss? I still suggest going. Have an accountability buddy. You have all of us, so you have an accountability buddy. Ever worn buffet pants? Yep, we've all done it. We have all done it. Eaten at least one zero point food today. You are the picture of success if you have eaten just one zero point food today. Just one. Have tried all 200 zero point foods. You would be amazing because that's a whole lot of things. Celebrate an NSV. All of y'all, celebrate an NSV. Your NSV is because you are hashtag I am normal. That is an NSV. If you've bulked it up at least one time this week, hashtag bulk, bulk it up, <coughs> then you are rocking this. If you ever ate something that didn't taste good, even if it had points, we've got to, we've got to learn to value ourselves more than that. We don't need to do things like that. And, if you haven't tracked more than 100 points in a single day, that's just because you haven't tracked them. Okay, so we all agree. We are all normal, right? We're all normal. So hashtag I am normal. Um, Y'all have an amazing week. Don't forget to go back and watch um, chat number 112. Um, oh yeah, Barbara says almost 200, but she doesn't do tofu. Oh Barbara, you just haven't had my tofu yet. But anyway, I recommend go back, going back and watching um, number 112. This has been the bingo portion of chat number 112. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time. Um, I did not realize, I mean, I knew I was pretty normal, but I didn't realize how normal I was until we, um, you know, till we decided to do this. But if you're watching this later, please, please, please subscribe, subscribe, yeah, um, and share this. So there are so many new people, so many people who don't have a meeting to go to, don't have anywhere else to go, and don't have anybody to talk to. So you want to help them become an accountability buddy and you want them to realize that they are hashtag I am normal. So let's see if Dusty's up to coming over. Hey, buddy, Dusty, come here. 
He didn't get to say bye last week because we had the whole phone fiasco. And whoever that was that fussed at me for fussing about my phone, yeah, hush, hush. That was stressful. That was very stressful. Um, oh, goodness. So here he is. He was ready to say goodnight. And he goes, Mama, you played a game instead of making yummy foods for me to beg um, off of you later. But anyway, y'all have an amazing week. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate, your, appreciate you all spending your Oscar night with me. <laughs> and hopefully whoever you wanted to win won. And I vote Dusty Becht Best Actor in a live chat. So how about that category? Okay, he just won. So anyway, y'all have a great week. I'll see you next week. And keep doing your homework. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Bye.